Hello, my name is Connor Quillen, and in this review I'm going to do a quick overview of what the timer, of what this little clock thing means on your Nikon digital SLR camera. Now this is a Nikon D3, so it's not the same as every other camera, but the symbol is the same and uses the same basic principle. Basically, what this does, it allows you to take a picture um, timed. So when I push down the shutter and I focus it, you can hear that there was a delay in the shutter. Now, it was delayed actually for two seconds there, but you can actually vary how long you want to delay it for. And I'll show you how to do that in your menu. Now, once you're in your menu, you're going to want to go to Custom Settings Menu. And you're going to want to go down to Timers and AE Lock. Then you'll notice that you can change the self-timer delay. It's on set on two seconds right now, but I can change it from to five seconds, ten seconds, even twenty seconds long. So if I wanted to send it for ten seconds, now it's going to delay for ten seconds before it takes a picture. And it starts out slow, and then as it gets up to two seconds before it takes the picture, it'll start beeping faster. And then it'll take your picture for you. Now, of course, this setting is good for maybe something like family portraits. It's also really good for long exposures when you don't want camera shake involved. Sometimes when you press down the shutter, you can shake your camera if you press it down too hard, which causes blur in your image. However, with the self-timing mode, you can press it down without having to worry about any shake when the picture is taken 10 seconds later or 2 seconds later or however long later you want to take your picture. And that is what the timing mode does on your Nikon digital SLR. Lighting.